Our weather, we had wow. some major downpours, hail, lightning. Mm -hmm. I mean, we had it all today, but yeah. things are changing. It's going to be nice. Yeah, we are heading into uh, some of the sunniest weather we have seen all year long. Wow, thank I, goodness. I know we, it is much deserved here across the Bay Area. After all of this rainfall we've seen over the past several weeks, let's roll it into that microclimate forecast right now. And let me show you the storm system that is spinning out here offshore. Look at the center of it right here headed towards Southern California. So it is overall pulling away from us, but we still could get some of these outer bands spiraling up tonight. So I'm keeping the chance here of some on again, off again, scattered rainfall uh, at least through about eight o'clock this evening. Let's go ahead and track some of this on Storm Ranger or Doppler radar and those downpours. They were especially heavy between one, two, three o'clock this afternoon. Right now we still have some moderate downpours. I'm not seeing any lightning with this, but it will continue to track towards San Jose through 556. Off to the south, Morgan Hill and Gilroy got drilled with the heavy rain and the lightning, even some hail. You're drying out here in Morgan Hill, but some of that is still lingering there in Gilroy. And then we're starting to see this area develop uh, just to the south and the west of downtown San Jose. Right now over Willow Glen, this moving into downtown as you move through the next 20 to 30 minutes. So just be careful if you're traveling in and around downtown through the next hour here in San Jose. Now we are in for a monument mental change tomorrow. It's all from this area. High pressure that's going to nose its way in here and move that storm track to the north. And as I mentioned, much needed sunshine. Look at the numbers here. Since January the 1st, San Francisco has only had five sunny days. Santa Rosa only 13 sunny days. So for the Bay Area, we're really anywhere between 80 to 92% of 2024 has been cloudy. So we need that sunshine and we're going to get it in here for you. The only speed bump we'll see here as we roll through tomorrow's forecast is the chance of some patchy fog up towards the North Bay, East Bay and the South Bay, but that will clear back and Check it out. There's that sunshine as we head through tomorrow afternoon. So this will mean for tomorrow morning's temperatures. We still begin on the cool side here down to 42 in the Tri Valley, a chilly 45 for the South Bay over to the East Bay, 43 and 41 for the North Bay. Now with that sunshine, numbers will be warming up tomorrow, not tremendously, uh, but still up to 63 here in San Jose over to the East Bay. Got you at 63 in Martinez, 62 in Fremont. Let's take it to the peninsula, 58 here in Half Moon Bay over to Redwood City. 61 San Francisco, a chilly 57 in the marina and for the mission 61 and for the North Bay, lots of 60s, 65 here in Napa, 63 in Nevada. OK, this isn't warm enough for you. Well, we can do better than that. Check out this 10 day forecast as we head into San Jose by next Thursday, 75 and not this weekend, but the following weekend, maybe up to 79 on Saturday, 79 on Sunday. So looking good here in that 10 day forecast. Let's move it back into the seven day though. While we're dry Thursday, Friday, we will see a few spotty rain chances return Saturday through next Tuesday. Overall totals not looking too high over the course of those four days. We're looking at less than a half inch. Uh, we'll have more looks at this weather coming up at 530, but yeah, 80 to 92% of this year has been cloudy. I know that's I see one sun oh, on that thing on a like, Friday. It's been like Seattle. I know exactly. <laughs> yeah. All right. Thank that's you sweet. so much, Jeff. Yeah.